three dimensions. That's your body, material, solid things. Fourth dimension is the dimension that you can't see, but you know it's there. Smell, taste, thoughts, they all exist in the fourth dimension. Emotions, emotions exist in the fourth dimension. In the fifth dimension, we have all those things. Um, spirits, it's where consciousness goes when you're asleep. Um, and you can also go to the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth dimension too, depending on the um, I don't want to say age of your soul, on on the level of your soul, um, and how far your soul is evolved. Because um, as you expand, you expand out into the higher dimensions. Now, when we say we're going into 5D, it just means that humanity's brains are evolving from only being able to process the 3D and 4D information to now being able to pull out of their emotions from 4D and use their imagination and feed 5D, um, alchemize the emotions, the trauma. Um, in the fifth dimension, there's no time. Everything's cyclical. And that's an explanation of the third through the fifth dimension. When you go up in dimensions, things start getting a little bit more convoluted and complicated. Um, but they do all exist next to each other. There's many different theories about being infinite dimensions. There's 12 dimensions. There's 13 dimensions. I personally believe there's infinite. I believe that in this realm of Earth... My phone's glitching out. This is why I asked for for help troubleshooting my laptop camera because because this is just my phone's not a very expensive phone either it's cheap Motorola so anyways that was my talk on dimensions it was my practice video talking about something that's a little bit more light that I can put on YouTube I'm going to start uh, some less censored platforms for a while that I have to talk about um, a lot of my experiences and yeah so that's me my name is Melissa